The Nintendo Switch has given us tons of new games for previously forgotten IPs. Metroid Dread single-handedly revived the series, Pikmin 3 Deluxe sold over 2 million copies, and new Pokemon Snap came back better than ever. Overall, you can't really complain about the expansive library, but there is one giant character that is yet to get his own adventure. Well, there's more than one, but y y you know what I mean. Outside of the 2018 port of Tropical Freeze, Donkey Kong has yet to embark on his own adventure on the Switch. Now, I know this guy isn't as big as he used to be, but DK is still one of Nintendo's most popular and recognizable characters. There are quite a few rumors out there about a new Donkey Kong coming soon, and this makes all the sense in the world to me. After all, the Switch is Nintendo's most successful system in quite some time, so why wouldn't they want to give a game to one of their most popular characters? Most rumors indicate that this game is going to be a 2D adventure, but that's not what I want to talk about today. We haven't had a full 3D Donkey Kong game in over 20 years, and I think it's about time for the leader of the bunch to get another shot in the third dimension. So, subscribe if you haven't already for more Nintendo content, click that bell, and uh, you know the rest. Let's, let's just get right into this. For lack of a better title, I'm going to refer to this game as Donkey Kong Odyssey. Yes, it is possible that we just get a regular 3D game, but I think Nintendo is a little more ambitious than that. We've already seen DK take on various 3D sandboxes, so I'd imagine any new game would add a new mechanic to create more immersive gameplay. Super Mario Odyssey gave us Cappy, a sentient hat that aided in platforming while also allowing Mario to capture various enemies. Donkey Kong Odyssey will have a similar gimmick, although it won't be quite as essential to this game as Cappy was to his. In DK Odyssey, Donkey Kong will be able to use his tie as something like a grappling hook. In combat, this will allow him to grab enemies and bring them closer before delivering the fatal blow. In an open world adventure, this will also allow Donkey Kong to grab items from faraway gaps and latch onto trees and other high objects, kind of like the hook shot in any Legend of Zelda game. Of course, it takes more than one gimmick to make a great game. As the name suggests, Donkey Kong Odyssey is going to be a massive adventure, and the level design needs to reflect this. In most games of this nature, the main character hangs around in a hub world before warping off to individual levels. Heck, Donkey Kong 64 used this very same formula. This is a fine design choice, but I'd love to see something a little bolder. Longtime viewers of the channel know that I love the concept of Bowser's Fury. Designing one large, interconnected world was a stroke of genius, and I desperately want to see the concept expanded in Donkey Kong Odyssey. Now, as great as the idea behind Bowser's Fury was, the actual execution left something to be desired. The game repeated several missions throughout the relatively short adventure, and I wasn't a fan of how some missions forced you to go back to the opening cat gate before you could get the next shine. Fortunately, these are fixable issues that should be addressed with more development time. Bowser's Fury was nothing more than an extra mode on a Wii U port, whereas Donkey Kong Odyssey would presumably have a massive budget and design team spending several years on the project. I get it's impossible for every single mission to be a smash hit, but more development time means more fun and enjoyable missions. Now it's time to address the elephant in the room. Or monkey, I suppose. Ape? Uh, I'm losing focus. Seeing as this is the first 3D Donkey Kong since 64, I think some of you might want five playable characters in the game, and I cannot stress enough just how bad of an idea this is. Simply put, five characters is just too many for a game of this scope. I like Donkey Kong 64, but I can admit the game has its faults, and having five separate characters that can only collect their own bananas and blueprints was one of the biggest mistakes in the game. Ultimately, the project felt like five individual games all layered on top of each other, and the backtracking was just unbearable at times. Tighter game design could mitigate some of those issues, but it cannot completely erase them. Personally. I think the best course of action is to follow the path created by the Returns games. Donkey Kong should be the only playable Kong, but there should be some others that help him out along the adventure. Specifically, I'd like to see Diddy, Cranky, and Chunky waiting in the barrels this time around. Just like in the Returns games, each partner is going to have their own special upgrade. Diddy Kong will have his usual jetpack that will let Donkey Kong clear larger gaps, but he'll also have the peanut pop gun for combat. In terms of how this will actually look, Diddy will rest on DK's back, and the player will control the peanut pop guns. Similarly, Cranky Kong will still help Donkey Kong navigate through spiky terrain, but he'll also have a set of potions that DK can use to overcome certain obstacles. For a price, of course. These potions will only have short-term effects and can only be activated while Cranky is traveling with Donkey Kong. Basically, I'm looking to combine Cranky's abilities from Tropical Freeze with his scientific know-how from 64. Chunky, meanwhile, will just be extra muscle. As long as this hell of a guy is on the field, 
all of DK's attacks do double damage, and he'll also be able to crush boulders and other large objects with relative ease. I don't even know if Nintendo is going to make a 3D Donkey Kong game on the Switch. In fact, I'd actually bet against it. That being said, if they're going to do it, this is how I hope it gets done. A vast, open and connected world with partners serving in more of a complementary role than a featured role from Donkey Kong 64. Tie it all up with a gimmick that doesn't overstay its welcome, and you've got a pretty good game. Well, that's going to do it for me. Would you play a game like this? Let me know down in the comments, as well as anything else you'd like to see in a 3D Donkey Kong. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. We here at Blue Shell do our very best to give you the best videos possible in a timely manner, and we wouldn't be able to do it without your support. Also, if you're on Discord and want to hang out with us, make sure to click the link in the description below. Until next time guys, I'm David, you've been watching Blue Shell, and thanks for hanging out.